Hello and welcome to another episode of Road and Race. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to use your car as a battery to power your house. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the main reason I can see is that you can buy cheap rate electricity overnight, say maybe 2p or 4p a kilowatt hour, and then use it during the day when it's more expensive, like um, 20p a kilowatt hour. So there's a saving there, isn't there? And if you've bought an electric car anyway, why not? You know, it seems like a a win-win doesn't it so i'm here in nissan's new leaf the 2021 leaf and this supports uh, this technology it's called vehicle to car or sometimes uh, vehicle to x or v2x as a like a generic term for it because there's also other variants like vehicle to grid but i'll get onto that in a second uh so what it is what is it then so essentially yes you plug your car into your house and then you can decide when you want to use the battery in the car to power your home. So if you don't have solar power, um, no panels on your roof, you can use cheap rate electricity at night, as I mentioned, or if you do have solar panels on your uh, roof of your house, then you can use the car to you know, be charged by the free solar and then balance it out and use that solar power as and when you need it throughout the day and throughout the night. So there's lots of options there. Obviously you can buy a battery for your home you know tesla sell one and lots of other companies sell one but they're fairly expensive you know i don't look at the prices recently been I mean, looking at you know, four five thousand pounds for a battery plus all the electrical works to do it so if you can leverage the battery in the car you already have why not it sounds like such a good idea doesn't it well here are the caveats to all that it's still quite immature in the uk at the moment i'm recording this in 2021 you know, and um, there aren't that many options. From my research, there's just one wall box for your home that has this bi-directional charging capability, and that's the wall box Quasar, Quasar. Uh, which is quite expensive. Uh, it's about a thousand pounds, I can make out, at least. And the pricing isn't that available. Uh, and that's about all the electrical works, you know, the installation works and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but in theory, you could buy a car that supports V2X, uh, the Leaf being one of the first to support it. Um, get that wall box installed and then control how you want to use your power. Um, not only personal experience with it, but that's, that's the theory. Um, there's also a technology called V2G or vehicle to grid. And that allows you to work with your energy supplier to, to do two things basically help balance out the grid because you may or may not know we still make electricity overnight but there's much less demand so what do you do with all that energy we make during the night you know if you could store that in people's cars and then the grid use it during the day when you know energy is is, is most days demand uh, especially around you know tea time uh, you know you could use people's energy inside their cars that they're not using and stop us burning fossil fuels. And, you know, it's a lot cleaner way of, you know, running the country, you know, if we all share the power, you know, we all get the benefit. That's the kind of theory behind it. And as a car owner, you would get, you know, reduced bills from your energy supply. So it's kind of a win-win really. Though, disappointingly, no energy supplier in the UK supports this kind of technology as yet. Octopus Energy are kind of pioneering the way by running a pilot Called Power Loop, but that pilot is now closed, and um, there's no announcements of any kind of future plans from them to do any more. So we're not quite there yet, but it's nice to know that if you do buy a car like the Leaf that supports this V2X technology, that when you know the infrastructure does kind of catch up, you'll be able to leverage it. Anyway, that's all from me. As per usual, thanks for watching.